I'm sorry I could not get to the market. The crowd was too much for me to be pleased with a dose of water. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter B, has apologized to some of his supporters in the district for not meeting up with them as a visit to the state. While in Edo State, Peter B visited Apostle Solomon. He also visited the Obas Palace. His visit was also followed by a massive crowd of storm the palace to greet him. In a video recently shared by Aisha Yusufu, Peter B said he could not meet up to visit them because the crowd was too much and they could not let him. He said, and I quote, For all the people at the Eastern Land waiting for me at the market, I sincerely apologize. We could not get to the market. After paying loyalties and respect to the royals of Eastern Land, all efforts to go to the market were blocked by the crowd. The crowd made it impossible for us to be there. Even after I addressed them severely, I could not move. So I apologize. I had to turn, I had to run back to Benin because there was nothing again I could do. Speaking further, he said, let me assure you that I'm committed to better governance in Nigeria and committed to taking back Nigeria and giving it back to the youth and women so that they can start building resources like every other people. Hold me responsible. We will take the country. Okay. Um, one thing where they always sweet people be in Nigeria when they used to talk. You understand? His unique way of saying things. I, like I said, his unique way of saying things because he never, he never reached there. You know, hold me responsible. Which government don't tell us to hold us responsible? Have we ever had people hold say hold me accountable? And I think it is time we start taking this hold or hold people accountable, most especially people in power, most especially presidents, governors, vice presidents, senate presidents, all those you know, House of Reps member speaker, Senate Senator, we're supposed to start holding those people responsible and accountable for every mess up we them do. Do you understand? I think it is high time. Huh? I think it should be even enshrined in the constitution that the people can hold them. Yes. So that if they do not do well, Omar, they will collect. I've even said it before, that there should be what I call a kind of, should I say, committee that is going to be set up that once you are finishing office, eh, you get people who go treat you as in, when it comes to resources now, financial resources, eh, how you managed it. If they find out that you are owing anything or your money miss, you go pay. That means your accounts, baby, as you do your accounts, everything will be stated down to the last couple. As you spent money, it will be there. If they bring out your account that they notice loopholes, you will get to, you see, the thing is, if you cannot pay, they will confiscate your property after. If they let them sell it to the Naira, they will sell it. Especially those ones you have, um, you got maybe newly, uh, recently, then go do the investigation. Do you understand? They will come out and, uh, what's it called? They'll come out and that is how it is going to go. Then when it comes to your performance, they'll have somebody who, who you know, they have a committee who can tra track it. And say, okay, you did well. Or you did that very job. You understand? They can be grading them for us. Oh, this person did well, though. Uh, when you're comparing this person to uh, the governors on ground. You understand? Do you understand? Okay. Take it or leave it. OB is a brand and force to reckon with. Obedience are 100% ready for this massive revolutionary movement. will be that to the world. Hmm. Okay. Sentiment about Peter B remains the best we have on at hand. Please let us try and decision tribe and religion and vote massively for this man. Let these people stop deceiving us. Please vote for Bidati for the good of all of us. What about the insults to anyone that is not supposed to be? Is that the way to get the vote he decided to win the election? Wait, too. Please, I want to ask this question. And you know, people, I'm not, I've never been a supporter of, you know, you being uncivilized. I always say be civilized in your opinion if you're coming out. Now, so you want to tell me that you are not going to be voting for B because his supporters hold insult at you? <laughs> it seems to me like maybe you go your friend has make you go give her something you ask you for something you understand and then nobody even in Peking maybe people you meet there call insults and people you know say you know get power over 
Obi doesn't have power over what his supporters do because his supporters are organic. It's not people that they paid money that say, oh, my behavior, if you not behave, I'll give you money. No. Do you understand? So if you are coming out to hold them responsible for their attitude, it don't make sense to me. Sincerely, it does not. All right. Even when I'm hungry and cashless, I pick up my phone and search for P2B news and instantly I, be I become fulfilled and revived. Thank God for giving us obedati. The heart of a king is in the hands of a lord, and he, the lord, will turn it to the direction of his own choice. Hmm. The implication of the saying above that the lord will certainly turn the heart of those who are against P2B to walk in his P2B's favor, even though they are currently against his ambition. Okay. Hmm. Borrowed crowd, how much did they pay you? That is the language to orders. Obi that failed to turn ordinary Anambra to Lagos State wants to wants to turn Nigeria to Dubai. Let me do that, really. Hmm. Okay. And the APC and PDP will continue to tell us that it is social media crowd. Wait until election proper and see the seventh wonder of a world. Make another forget the clues I gave on now. You people not say I didn't do anything for you people who you should take those clues very, very seriously. It is a matter of life and death. Huh. Okay. First time a presidential candidate is visiting the free senatorial district. It means a lot. The campaign director is very clever and the bees out to win. He may really pull surprise for those who still think he does not have a structure. Hmm. Okay. When it be to be comes to Delta, Okawa get ready to close our house. Obi, there is no need for stadium. On that, the Okawa himself will not be able to step out. <laughs> As for Bini Road to be blocked, worry Bini will be locked. Delta for P2B. Well, this is uh, what I'm going to tell you people who are coming out to say this one will happen and that will happen. Please make sure that as you're planning to show up for rallies in the same way, you're planning to come out and vote. And make no not forget my clues for voting. I beg. If you live in areas that are rough, it is even that day. If you have small phone, or buy small phone. I mean, have small phone. Drop your big phone in the house. I know what I'm saying. If you go there, if you are somebody who you have not been campaigning for anybody before, you know, you come and say, you see, say, your polling units now, nah, APC people full up. I beg, hail them. Hail them. Make them feel important. Yes. You have to, you have to do the de deception with that. These people have put us through. You have to give it back to them. Hail them. Tell them, say, you know, say you don't, you, you don't come to vote for them. If you even get small change, if you give them drink for them, if people want drink beer, then drink beer. You understand? Then, you vote for your person, you still hear them again, you discharge. Do you understand? You hear that you discharge. You don't want your ass and say you can be taken inside. Just so much. I mean, you can You understand me? When it is time for the results, if they can't do the results finish, can't find out, say, maybe now your person win. Uh -huh. If they just uh, your person win, if not, nah, if it's, if for like them, rejoice, for them, like you come out, discharge. I know what I'm saying. You know, you're not going to do anything for now. Huh. Make we use our HQ. Hmm? They, that day is not the day to come and start speaking.